Hi, you guys. Today, I am a Starbelly Sneech. All the kids were like, are you Cindy Lou Who? And <laughs> I know it's a pretty simple costume, but I love the Sneeches. So today we are going to read this really beautiful story called Coralinda Clatter by Mordecai Gernstein. It is a 3.0 accelerated reading level story. But I want you guys to imagine that you are living in this story. And who would you be if you were one of the characters in the story? Would you be a townsperson? Would you be the giant? Let's find out. It's a really neat story and it actually has me thinking a lot of cool ideas and it's just so creative. All right, now, even though there's no words, these first few pictures are part of the story. Once there was a lonely giant who fell in love with the moon. He was the very last giant, and there was no one else large enough for him to love. Dear moon, he sang, come dance and marry me. We'll have a lovely family of little giants and pretty planets, maybe even a comet or two. Tra -la 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 -la. But the moon shone coldly and silently and said nothing. For 5,000 years, the giant sang and danced for her. He begged and pled with her. But the moon sailed across the sky, waxing and waning, waning and waxing, and ignored him. The giant lay down, looked up at her, and for 10 thousand years he raged and he welled he moaned and he wept finally he fell asleep even as he slept he wept over a hundred years grass grew all over him after ten thousand years his eyes became two ponds his tears became two waterfalls his beard and his hair and his head became a forest. All kinds of animals came to live in them. I thought you can even see his handprint still there on his chest. After a hundred thousand years, people came. They said, this mountain looks like a sleeping giant. We must be quiet and careful not to wake him. Shh. So they walked on tiptoe and they whispered and they quietly built a town right on the spot that looked like the giant's belly. The town was called Papikton. Over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, the legend grew about how the mountain was a sleeping giant, hopelessly in love with the moon. And if he was ever awakened, his rage and grief would destroy the town. And so, just in case the legend was true, no one ever made any noise. Papikton was a very quiet town. <coughs> Okay, sorry, my throat is dry. Babies didn't cry, and children were afraid to scream and yell because everyone said, shh, you'll wake the giant. No one laughed. No one wept. You couldn't tell if they were happy or sad. No one sang. There was no music. No one even sneezed. The animals were quiet too. No moos or barks, no twitters or chirps. The only sounds were whispers and the purring of cats. Then one night, Coralinda Clatter was born. <coughs> she was 
born noisy. Even the moon woke up. Look at how startled everyone is. I love how the illustrator drew noise on this page. Shh, whispered her parents. You'll wake the giant. Coralinda tried to be quiet. But the bigger she grew, the louder she got. Wah! She cried. <laughs> she laughed. Tra -la 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 -la. She sang all the time. Shh. The whole town whispered, You'll wake the giant. But Coralinda just banged on pots and pans for good measure. The people of Papicton were under their beds and lived in fears. They hid under their bed and lived in fear. <gasps> Look at them all. You can see them all hiding. Any minute now, they whispered, you'll wake the giant. I can't help it, she shouted. I love noise. Hearing Coralinda, birds began to chirp. Cows began to moo. Dogs barked and howls. Cats yowled. Sure enough, one morning the ground began to tremble. People heard a low rumble. The rumble became a grumble. Who woke me up? And the grumble became a tumble of words so low and loud and old and rusty that everyone knew it could only be one thing. And they were terrified. The whole town is hiding under their beds. I was pretty scared. Coralinda, the people whispered. Now you've done it. You woke the giant. You must go tell him to go back to sleep. Oh dear, said Coralinda. Must I? Yes, they whispered. You must. Look at them all pointing at her. Trembling. Coralinda went up the hill called Giant's Chest and into a tangled forest called Giant's Beard. Up to the mouth, a huge dark cave full of moans and sighs. Singing made her feel a little less frightened. Tra -la 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 -la. But just a little. Waterfalls ran down both sides of a peak called the nose. From the ponds called the eyes. Excuse me, Mr. Giant, sir. I'm Coralinda Clatter. It was I who woke you. Is it you, rumbled the voice, who sings the beautiful songs and makes the beautiful music? Uh, it's just noise, said Coralinda, but it's, it's what I love to do. It's music, said the giant. I haven't heard music for thousands and thousands of years. It makes me happy. It makes me want to get up and dance with the moon. I'm in love with her, you know, but she won't have me. Mr. Giant, sir, said Coralinda. My name is Hugh Jean, said the giant, and I want to dance. The giant tried to rise, and the whole world shook. Mr. Eugene Giant, sir, said Coralinda, many animals, birds, and people are living on you. They need you and love you. You are a mountain now, and mountains do not dance. The giant was silent for a long moment. Am I really a mountain? he asked. Am I really, truly loved? Yes, said Coralinda, and when the moon is full, she shines on you and makes you all silvery. Do you think, asked the giant, maybe now she likes me? I believe she loves you, said Coralinda. 
Ah, sighed the giant. I almost gave up hope. I will lie here and adore her, and I will be a great mountain. But Coralinda, please, every evening would you sing me a song? A sweet, happy song? A soft, soothing song? Coralinda sang a lullaby. The giant yawned an enormous mountainous yawn and fell into a deep, deep sleep, never to wake again. Coralinda went back to the town and told all what had happened. Are we safe now? Everyone whispered. Yes, said Coralinda. There was a long, deep sigh of relief and then there were giggles then there was laughter and shouting and cheering and applause hooray for Coralinda then Coralinda taught them all to sing every evening they went up the mountain and sang a lullaby to the giant then they laughed and danced into the night Coralinda grew up, and she and all her children and their children's children's children were famous for their singing. Now visitors come from all over the world to hear the music of the people of Papikton. Their music makes everyone ha laugh and cry and cheer. It makes people happy. Even the giant of the mountain sleeps on and on, happily dreams that he is dancing with the moon. The end.